Hi guys, doing a quick video here on um, uh, some just a couple of tips, pulling apart a um, three jaw self signaling chuck. It's, it's, it's the ones with the um, Cam 4 mounting setup on the backs here. Just they're slightly a little bit different from these ones. These are quite easy to pull apart. You just got this little cover here where with this one here whole back comes off in the one piece so what we do we just take off you've got your three outer bolts and you've got these three inner bolts we just take those out first This chuck's about five, six years old, and um, I've already pulled it apart and cleaned it. It just, it was starting to bind up a little bit, because after a while, you, you get shavings inside it, and it just starts to bind up a little bit. What you do is just pull them apart, clean it, put it back together, and, and it's, uh, they run fine after that. I just thought I'd do this quick video, just in case people haven't done one, and um, to show the, uh, the, the, the proper way of pulling these apart. Okay, so we've got those bolts taken out. So now, on this particular lathe, we've got these two tiny little holes here, they're threaded. And this one here in particular is a, it's a M5 thread. So I've got these bolts here, uh, about 20 mil too long, and that's what you need. So you just wind those in till it bottoms out because this is this backing plate is a bit of a it's a slight press fit so there's no way you can get that off by using your hands and you don't want to be touching it with um uh, with drifts or anything like that so it's just they purposely put these here for this purpose okay so got those in so now what you do you just wind that in like half a turn and then go to the other side And it's already starting to pull apart. Let me show you. So you can see here the gap. It's slowly pulling this thing apart. So you just keep doing that. The other thing too, guys, forgot to mention, from factory, you got a little st a zero stamp. And what I've done is, to make sure this goes back the same way, I've put another little zero stamp over here. Right? If you don't want to stamp it, you can just, you just run a texter line. It's just so you make sure you get it back in the same position. Yeah, that's come easy. Yeah, there we go. So there you have it. As easy as that, pulling that apart. And um, if you never pulled one of these apart, they actually go together quite easy. So we just got to remove these three pinion gears to get to the um, scroll gear down the bottom there. And all of these, you've got these little pins So that little pin, these come out. And that's what holds these pinion gears in. So now that just comes out as easy as that. So you take the three of those out.
jaws will just slide out here. And that just fell out. Okay, there's your little scroll gear. So that's completely stripped now. As easy as that. So you just, you know, clean it, put it back together the way you pulled it apart. It's quite, it's a quite simple job, but like I said, um, if you didn't know, that's what makes it easy is, is utilizing these two holes. And as you can see, those two little bolts bottomed out in this divot and it's divot. So that way you're not damaging the matted surface here. So it was like I said to you, it was purposely done for that reason for disassembly. So that might help some people out. And I'll quickly put it back together again. Like I said, I've already cleaned this and oiled it. to bottom this out so just using a bit of brass rods so it's soft just slowly whip the way down but that's bottomed out turns quite nice pins in. Just got to make sure it's lined up into the groove. What I've been by lining up into the groove, as you can see, see it's got the groove there. These pins just go down. That's what holds it in. easy as that so yeah so there's my stamp circle there there's the other stamp circle there so I know that that goes that way you just line these holes up best you can Just gently get those holes along the best you can. And then before you go any further, get all the bolts started. Because once it starts to press in, you're not going to be able to turn it that easy. You don't want any of the bolts to bind up. So I'll start with the outer ones. Just get it to just before it just starts to wind in. And they've gone in easy, so it's good. So half a turn, half a turn, half a turn. Then we'll start with the inner ones. And you're winding in easy, so that's good. You know you're pretty well lined up. Half a turn. 
just go down and grudge them. So they can slow down. You can feel yourself winding it down and um, obviously you, you, you don't want to force it just work your way down nice and easy that's bottom down that's bottom down that's bottom down And it's as simple as that, it's all done. Just put the jaws back in and you're ready to go. So, if that's helped somebody out, that's great. Thanks for watching, boss.